What comes to your mind when you think of the word success? If ever there was a word that can have so many different meanings, it's that one. Hey, Steve Gamlin here. Welcome to a brand new episode of the Vision Board Guy podcast. That word success. See, one of the biggest challenges I see people having out there when they reach out to me when we first have our conversations is defining what success means to them and for them. And a lot of people reach out and say, hey, Steve, I made a vision board. And when they send me the picture, I realize it's a lot like what I refer to as the vision board guru starter kit. By that, I mean it's got pictures of a Lamborghini, a mansion, a yacht, a private jet, some mega expensive jewelry, and some stacks of gold bars and cash. <laughs> now, here's the thing. There's not a single thing wrong with having any of those as part of your vision, unless they are not who or what you're all about. Now, why does that happen so often that we see people putting pictures like that on their vision boards? My personal opinion, there are too many people out there posing with these things on social media, fooling the rest of the world and causing us to believe that they are successful. Plus, this also gives the illusion that these people are better than us in some way, have authority over others, transforming everything they say into an exalted language that other people, like us, operating out of fear, lack, or ignorance, we fall for it. And we want to be like these people. Here's the downside. What happens to too many people, though? The definitions we see these other people putting up as reality become hollow, empty, and flavorless to those of us who don't really want that but get blinded by the bling. Now, what's another byproduct of this method? A bitter aftertaste that gets directed at the personal and professional development world, claiming that we are all scammers and frauds ripping people off. <laughs> My best advice as a speaker and a coach, sit down with a pen and paper today. Somewhere quiet with zero interference from social media or anything electronic that buzzes, beeps, vibrates, or otherwise distracts you. Peel away the layers of all the impulses, forces of influence, or things that don't represent who you really are. And if it helps, think back to a time in your life when you were happy, when you were confident, when you walked tall and proud to your own beat, when you believed in yourself. And notice that I did not mention in there, how much money do you want to have? <laughs> That's on purpose. Now, there's nothing wrong with wanting or having money. I believe that in order to achieve real success, everything else needs to rest upon a solid foundation of your best self in all of these areas of your life as well. Not just money. Your physical health, your emotional well-being, your closest relationships, your core values that guide all of your thoughts, words, and actions, your faith and spirituality, your connection to the world in real ways, and your career. One of the most heartbreaking things I keep seeing out there, especially on social media, is a growing movement of people creating the illusion of success, which I defined earlier, but being completely empty on the inside. And too many people are falling for this and then falling apart. So my question to you is, how would you define success in your life? What is the best version of you doing and enjoying? What does that look like, feel like, sound like, smell like, and taste like in every area of your life? For me, that's where success begins. Not by sticking a bunch of pictures of bling on a vision board. Start to dig deep. You got all the bricks inside you. Now it's up to you to define what you want to build. Who are you going to invite in your life to guide you and assist you in what it's going to be like when you achieve it? It's a long process. Nothing is instant, despite what it might look like on social media. So please get on out there and figure out what success is in your life, who you need to become to get there and to achieve and enjoy it. And if you have questions, please reach out. My calendar is stevechats, C-H-A-T-S, dot com. Very happy to have a conversation with you to see how I may be able to provide value or even just the spark or help you to lay that first brick in your foundation for success. 
And I look forward to catching you again very soon for a brand new episode of the Vision Board Guy podcast. You can find us on Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, and several other platforms. Please subscribe, share this episode if there's somebody you care about who it could help out. I'll catch you again soon. Steve Gamlin here. Take care. <laughs>